Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of our SimCity Let's Play Critical Analysis Slash Review thing. Um, I am happy to report that uh, I received in the mail today my uh, brand new Doxus 3 modem and uh, my connection issues with uh, EA servers uh, after playing for a couple hours today seem to be gone. So. Um, keeping my fingers crossed. I hope that that is uh, that, that turns out to be the only thing that was was causing me problems. So good news on that front. Um, and so I was uh, messing around in the city quite a bit off camera, um, kind of running it through its paces to see if uh, I would have any connection issues. And so far, so good. Um, so I figured I would just record a short video here. <clears throat> um, now that everything is sort of back online, I've done my computer upgrades, got my, my RAM upgraded, uh, swapped to the 64-bit version of Windows, and now I've got my uh, modem upgraded, so things are looking pretty good. Um, so this episode, I want to focus on traffic and roads, because uh, that's what I've been trying to, to uh, wrestle with a little bit. Um, as you can see, we have this main artery that comes right through our city. Um, and we teed it off here at the end where we have our uh, streetcar depot. And then we're kind of making this ring road uh, around. Um, and I did also add this sort of middle. Um, so we'll kind of have like a, a circle with a, a big plus in it, um, in effect. Um, now I was also working down here uh, to the right of this main avenue, um, doing some experiments with spacing. So this first uh, zone here, I spaced for one building wide, and that's a commercial zone. Um, then I did the same thing on this block, and then these two blocks, um, I tried to space as closely as I could to get these buildings back to back. Um, Yeah, that just looked funny for a second when I was clicking, but I think it's okay. Um, so what's interesting to me is that the, the grid lines do not give you uh, the right amount of space for back-to-back -back buildings. It actually leaves a gap. Um, and in fact, here you can see these, I believe, are pretty close to the standard grid. Of course, since this is an avenue, your grid isn't going to give you this road. So this had to be just placed by eye. Um, but, you know, if these were back to back on the standard grid arrangement, uh, th this, there would essentially still be room for a road as far as I can tell, but um, uh, it would just be, you know, wasted empty space. So uh, it takes a little bit of finesse to get that to work out properly, um, get the spacing right. <clears throat> um, and other than that, of course, you look here and our main artery road is a giant snarl of traffic. It's horrible. Um, and I think the reason for that, you know, we've got all of our commercial buildings facing uh, this main road. So if we look at our zone map, um, we can't really, can we get a better view of this? Yeah, so you can see our industrial, our commercial zone is right down that main artery, um, which means all of the shoppers and employees have to come onto this main road. Now we do have a lot of streetcars um, along there, but uh, so far I don't think that people are really using the streetcars to commute as much as they are vehicles still. Um, so you can see the blue cars are shoppers. And we have no tourists yet because this is the only city in our region, of course. Um, so all the shoppers have to come onto this main artery, and that's kind of a problem. So uh, let's close this data view. Um, so one thing that I was considering doing, and I think I'll do it in a section and sort of observe how it works out, um, but that would be to, instead of face these roads on the main artery here, face them on this road. Um, and this main artery will still, I think, be useful for the streetcar stops, because uh, Sims will stop at a streetcar and then walk around the block. I believe they will walk that far. Um, 
but that should take some of the road traffic off this main highway or uh, avenue, not a highway, sorry. Um, another sort of flaw that we have with our city design is that our main residential zone is over here. Um, and we have a little bit here as well. Um, but all of these people have to cross this main road to get over to the industrial area that I believe provides most of the jobs. Um, and if we look at our details panel here, um, you know, we see jobs here. We have, we have way more jobs than we have people at this point, actually. Um, but this doesn't tell us whether these workers are working in industry or commercial. Um, and I assume that commercial buildings do provide jobs, but that's not explicitly stated anywhere in here. So that's kind of an interesting, um, an interesting question. Um, we are overshooting our education a little bit, but that's okay because as our population goes up, that will definitely um, that will definitely fill in. Um, our unfulfilled freight orders is still incredibly high. Um, we have no unemployment, which is great um, because we have tons of extra jobs, of course, um, and no tourists and no homeless. So, um, so I think what we should do this episode is test out a section um, and kind of test this theory. So how about this section right across? Uh, let's pick a really nasty, busy section. Actually, yeah, let's let's redo this block in here um, and face the road on the other end and kind of see what happens. So let's, we do have it on slow speed. So let's go ahead and bring the rest of these roads. Now, what is, what is placed here? I think I have a park over here. Yeah, I do. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't just give you the option to demolish it, um, which would be kind of nice, but. All right, so let's bring that through. And this, no, that can't because it's the power plant over there. That's okay, we'll, we, um, we'll probably end up moving those power plants somewhere else at some point. So let's take that road out. And let's also take that road and that road and we will hook up this Avenue right up to there. Okay, so now um, I guess we can also take ah, that sign is on that road, which means it would demolish the whole building. Huh. Some of the logic in this game is a bit. So we can take the sign away, and that should let us now delete this road. Yes, indeed. Okay. And can we? There's a little bit of road still here. Uh, very difficult to select it. There we go. Okay. So now let's uh, dezone these blocks here. Some of this doesn't always dezone either. I'm not sure why that is. Um, it may be dezoned and just is giving us a little graphical glitch. So then let's also demolish everything on these blocks. So what I'm gonna do is zone this first block commercial, but face it on that side. And the same thing over here. And then this block, I'm actually gonna zone um, residential on that side. So I'm swapping sides as compared to further down. Um, now this this sort of double block here is kind of silly because we do waste that road space. Um, but you know this is just an experiment. We're just we're giving things a try here. So, um, so let's speed things up and see see if we can notice any difference in traffic. Uh, it might be kind of hard to see at this stage because it's just so congested, um, moving just this half a block, or you know, half of the, the road. I don't know if that's going to show a huge difference. Um, 
things are building, of course. Um, I think we're really going to have to do a lot more in order to really see a big difference. Uh, of course, we can see that this road got really clogged up really quick. Um, so that was probably a lot of construction vehicles. Um, if we look through the rest of the city, we can see um, we definitely, definitely have a traffic problem. So it's the middle of the night, so traffic over in our industrial zone is pretty, pretty empty. Um, and you'll, you'll also notice that I did rearrange our utilities a little bit. I was running out of room over here, so I did remove the dump and relocated these. So those should be uh, placed better and put the dump over on this side. So, so hopefully that works out a little bit better. We'll, we'll kind of keep our eye on it and see. Uh, so those are going up. You know, I'm going to do the same thing on this side of the road. Uh, yeah, so I'll show you kind of what I what I had to do here with the um, with the spacing. So the grid lines, you know, there's no snap to the back of this building. So we really just have to drag and see if things are going to get demolished and try and get as close as we can. You know, move a couple pixels over and it's too much, so. Um, so, I mean, that's about as close as we're gonna get. So we'll throw that road down. Delete this park. And we're gonna drag this road down um, through this block here. And we're gonna just attempt same experiment we just did on that other side, on this side of the street. Um, so let's dezone everything there, dezone that. Um, and unfortunately, I don't really want to blow these up because they're nice big buildings, but you know what? For the sake of our experiment, we're going to just go for it. So, and that's all dezoned, so let's make sure that there's nothing there. And there's kind of excessive smoke when you demolish things, which um, let's slow things down a little bit here. All right, looks like, come on. Let's just blow up these things that I can do here. Okay, so let's do the same thing here. Uh, oops, we're gonna zone commercial and we're gonna face it on this side of the road. And let's see, can we? can't zone all the way to the corner. I don't really quite understand how that works always, but. So anyway, let's speed it back up now. And I mean, it looks like certainly this side of the road, the traffic has cleared out pretty well. Um, of course, nobody is, nobody is stopping there anymore. There's no, no reason for anybody to stop their vehicle. And I think that's the main thing that clogs up the roads is when people, uh, when the Sims go to a building for shopping or work or whatever, they actually stop their vehicle. Um, which, you know, is a little unrealistic, I guess. You know, there's no parking structures in this game. There's no, you know, parking ramps or parking lots or things of that sort, which actually would be kind of a nice addition, a parking lot. Because um, you could put in surface lots or parking ramps, that kind of thing, and give Sims somewhere to park and then walk. And then they wouldn't always be stopping out front of the buildings that they're trying to go to. So um, that would be kind of nice. So traffic over on this end does seem to have cleared up a bit. Of course, um, we have moved traffic onto this road, which is not an avenue. So it's not able to hold as much traffic, of course. Um, but I don't know. We'll, we'll see if, if it can handle it. Um, what is our zone advisor having to say? We need more residential apparently. So did I, I did not zone this, but I can do that now. Um, so there's definitely a lot more precision you can get um, if you really take things kind of into a manual mode with this game. Um, if you're, 
uh, too happy to use, you know, the grid lines and the, the automatic, um, you know, hold control and you can automatically zone a whole section. If you're too quick to use those things, you can miss out on some fine tuning control, actually. So, um, so what I would say right now is that our experiment is definitely working for our stated goal, which is to get traffic off this main road. Now, whether or not that's better uh, than having the traffic along this road, I guess remains to be seen. Um, so we'll just have to keep playing with that and see where we're at. We go back to roads. Um, we're coming up on rush hour, I guess. And our main artery is jam-packed uh, all the way down until here. So, and you know, even over here, this side road is pretty full, uh, even when it's on the back. Of course, um, one thing I should uh, mention is that these were all low density roads. So if I change these to high density streets, that should make a big difference actually. Uh, that's something I wasn't thinking about. So let's do that. Just pop those up to high density. And that already is, okay. So um, I think we're gonna leave it at there for that for this episode. Uh, I think that was a successful experiment. Um, but we will have to see what other side effects uh, adding traffic to this road is going to have. Um, and actually, if you can see here, um, you zone this on that side of the street, maybe that would be better. It would divvy up the traffic a little bit better. I don't know. So uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode. It's kind of a, a short little thing, but I wanted to explore... Um, how we can utilize which road the buildings face to try and move traffic around. So um, if you have any suggestions or feedback, please leave those in the comments. I would love to hear from uh, anybody who watches this. Also, if you did like this episode, please hit that like button. Check out uh, the rest of the, the videos on my channel. Um, and if you find stuff there that you like, uh, please subscribe. I would love, uh, love to see people doing that. So anyway, I hope everybody has a great evening and uh, I will see you next time.